tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Good evening, everybody, and uh, uh, belated uh, uh, 500 years of Christianity uh, since Magellan uh, landed in uh, the Philippines no? and in introduced us to uh, our uh, most popular religion uh, in the country. Okay, Tonight, we will have a uh, an expanding of horizons, like the way Magellan discovered the Philippines, let's discover a unique uh, organization uh, which uh, anyone can uh, follow on uh, big media. Uh, it's called Talk Shop Asia, or TSA uh, for short. They're celebrating uh, their sixth year anniversary as one of the pioneers in this type of media and uh, we have as a special guest tonight their founder and anchor professor Rolly Pagaspas. Uh, Rolly are you on board? Yes! Magandang gabi sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa the Philippine Business Feng Shui. At siyempre, Bago ang lahat, gusto ko munang batiin lahat ng mga naging host ko sa ngala ng Big Media at V81 Radio Worldwide, ang mga sumusunod. JT Solis, Buong Magpayo, uh, Arlene Padua Martinez, and um, JC Valdepeñas, Milet Wolf, um, Don Zenita, Muriel Villanueva, mga hindi ko yata kayang sabihin lahat. <laughs> at syempre, Sorry, batiin lahat ng program partners uh, na nanatiling kasama namin sa loob ng anim na taon. Ang Philippine Retailers Association, ang Brand Corp, ang Association of Filipino Franchisers Inc., ang Association of uh, Filipino International Franchise Association, ang Direct Selling Association of the Philippines, at marami pang iba. Lahat-lahat, mga 22 program partners mayroon ang talk shop. Curiosity question. As founder, uh, how did you uh, conceptualize uh, Talk Shop Asia? Ah, okay. Uh, nung una, ang ginawa lang namin is, uh, we, since I'm a retailer, retailing executive, so namin bigyan ng pagkakataon ng mga retailers na magkaroon ng opportunities sa advertising sa larangan ng mainstream media. During our time six years ago, uh, the mainstream media is promulgated by a lot of the big brands. So, ang nakapag-advertise lamang. Ito mga consumer brands at yung mga consumer durable ay hindi nabibigyan ng pagkakataon dahil mahal ang advertising structure. At uh, bawat spot ay nangangailangan ng mula sa daang libo hanggang sa milyong piso para ka maipalabas for your awareness campaign. So, naisip na yung maglagay ng isang programa kung saan uh, magbibigay ng pagkakataon sa lahat ng mga retailing brands, mostly consumer durables, na makapag-advertise sila habang ang content ay kaakibat nila. So, I to say that they'll be sharing the space on a content which is almost parallel to what they are um, selling or marketing. At doon nagsimula ang Talk Shop Asia bilang isang programa ng Philippine Detailing Industry ng Philippines. Curiosity question. As founder, uh, how did you uh, conceptualize uh, Talk Shop Asia? Ah, okay. Uh, nung una, ang ginawa lang namin is, uh, we, since I'm a retailer, retailing executive, so namin bigyan ng pagkakataon ng mga retailers na magkaroon ng opportunities sa advertising sa larangan ng mainstream media. During our time six years ago, uh, the mainstream media is promulgated by a lot of the big brands. So, ang nakapag-advertise lamang. Ito mga consumer brands at yung mga consumer durable ay hindi nabibigyan ng pagkakataon dahil mahal ang advertising structure 
at uh, bawat spot ay nangangailangan ng mula sa daang libo hanggang sa milyong piso para ka maipalabas for your awareness campaign. So, naisip na ay maglagay ng isang programa kung saan uh, magbibigay ng pagkakataon sa lahat ng mga retailing brands, mostly consumer durables, na makapag-advertise sila habang ang content ay kaakibat nila. So, I to say that they'll be sharing the space on a content which is almost parallel to what they are um, selling or marketing. At doon nagsimula ang Talk Shop Asia bilang isang programa ng Philippine Detailing Industry ng Philippines. I see. Uh, compared to uh, mainstream uh, advertising media, so to speak, in the retailing field, uh, hmm. With its uh, journey and its current status now, uh, what would you say in terms of uh, its cost per thousand? Uh, in terms of advertising uh, direct to the point cost for any uh, interested party? Oh, well, I just want to give a background there now because of the pandemic, uh, everybody became on online or they, they try to be online and then they intensify their presence online. So I mean to say ang mainstream media, hindi naman siya nawala. Uh, Naapektuhan siya in terms of the balance of presentation of presence and the way the advertising is spent between the mainstream and the digital media. So ngayon, uh, kapag isang tulad natin, uh, programa na gusto nga uh, maghikayat ng mga advertisers, kinakailangan ang kanyang amount o yung rate na tinatawag ay pareho pa rin on the amount to reach at least the minimum of 1,000 person. So halimbawa, ang talaga na mayani dyan ay ang platform ng Facebook na nagbigay daan para sa ating social media. Uh, sila ay nagtingi. So meaning to say that you can now advertise even though for a small amount of money, And then for a small amount of group of people that you can now reach and they can now be engaged with you. So, dapat hindi magkakalayo ang amount ng advertising cost ng isang programa sa digital sa uh, amount of uh, money that is needed on the mainstream kapag programa ang pinag-uusapan. Okay. Pero since ang mainstream media... They have, uh, they are doing the marketing of the advertising on a mass-based market. Meaning to say, mas malawak na tao makakakita. Uh, kaya na iba ang kanilang uh, rating card. I see that. Okay. Well, very interesting. And uh, especially nowadays, as you mentioned, uh, it's been a year of pandemic. And uh, hmm. this type of media has become... Uh, Uh, one of the leading uh, medium no? uh, to uh, share uh, retail uh, uh, experiences and uh, of course uh, attract uh, markets for the respective niches of uh, uh, each uh, uh, producer in the in the spectrum of uh, the industry no? now uh, would you say uh, The composition of uh, Talk Shop Asia is composed uh, largely of franchises or franchisors group, the franchising industry. Uh, yes and no. Uh, primarily, because uh, the, the makeup of the retailing industry, they've got a special model of multiplying their branches, which is called franchising. But basically, the end line of the service component Uh, uh, the, the, the service sector is really still retailing. I mean to say, the kind of distribution will now be on the hands of the consumers via retail. Okay, so retailing is still the first and foremost uh, industry that we are promoting. And then we are now capturing the MSMEs as our primary target market. That's very good because of, uh, again, the challenges posed by the pandemic, especially uh, food shortages, no? Uh, uh, as we're experiencing now in 
some key uh, uh, pork and other meat products, uh, retail is uh, uh, suffering. No? Uh, especially uh, there's a, what we call this big threat to the malls. No? Mall retailers are talagang dapa, ika nga, or uh, uh, almost uh, uh, suffering. No? Uh, especially uh, there's a, what we call this big threat to the malls. No? Mall retailers are talagang dapa, ika nga, or almost... Uh, we are just a talk show. How the Philippine retailing industry, as partnered by the Philippine Retailers Association, the voice of the retailing industry. The, the following year, we, we thought of uh, our guests in the show on a weekly basis, which uh, totaled around four companies in an episode. So in a year's time, we've got 200 companies already uh, guesting in our program. Wow. Uh, it's already a community, so that's why we tag ourselves as Talks of Asia business community on our second year and we what we do is uh during the program the guests can now interact with each other over a merienda after the uh airtime of the program nice. well, on the third year we thought that uh for the small pockets of people we, we would like to put them together in a bigger hall that's why we thought of organizing events which we call crowd test crowding festival so all those who attended our guesting and the social networking can uh, be housed in an event called Crowdfest. On the third year, Talks of Asia became an organizer. Okay. And then on the fourth year, on the timing that we would like to transform ourselves from being a mainstream program to a digital program, we also started heading a programming network. So the, during the time we transferred from Inquirer to V81 Radio worldwide, and then we produced, according to the programming objectives of the home studio, several programs under the wing of Talk Shop Asia. So we were able to produce around 13 programs for V81 Radio worldwide, which until now are existing, but they were segmented now to be V81 Radio uh, LA in the US, that's why the anchor program there is Talk Shop Asia Global USA Edition. And then second, uh, V81 Radio Worldwide, for which we will now have hosts that are coming from the different continents. Talk Shop Asia USA Edition has been awarded uh, V81 as its home studio. Talk Shop Asia Next Generation or Next Gen has been awarded Big Media as its studio. And then the third program, Philippine uh, Talk Shop Asia Philippine Retailing Industry Program, has been awarded a panel of a business exchange site. The fourth one, we ought to launch and open after the whole week, sometime third week of April. And this one is titled Talk Shop Asia Discoveries. Why Discoveries? Because we were thinking that everybody would like to intensify their presence on the internet. The, the online space is so much constricted that there's, uh, there are a lot of new ones coming out every day. So if you are the person who would like to know more discoveries, you may not be able to find out uh, the newest discoveries in town on a daily basis. So we thought that a media component will be able to help uh, MSMEs do this by having a program called Talks of Asia Discoveries the main objective is to amplify the new ones and the new discoveries that can help MSMEs in their business in the line of self-discovery. What are the new things that an MSME is capable of doing during this pandemic, whether on a refocusing mode, uh, repivoting mode, realignment mode, all kinds of modes so that they can bounce back strongly given the pandemic on a second surge season. Second, an MSME will be interested to know the latest trends happening in their verticals. So we like also to amplify that. And of course, the third is the handle, no? the tools and technology that a company and a, and a CEO would like to discover 
that he can make use of on full benefit for his company. And lastly, Chevrolet mm -hmm. Vision should not invent the wheel that a company would like to hear the different uh, successes on a turnkey mode so that they can eventually copy, embrace, and be like uh, the model that we would like now to amplify. So uh, that's the makeup and handle of Talk Shop Asia. Discovery is up now to open around third Friday of April. Wow, that's great. Technical wow. development uh, for the present uh, needs, especially in pandemic, especially uh, related to food production and employment generation. Uh, uh, I think the greater part that the uh, hunger of the mind is is in the rural provinces now. There's a big okay. need for rural enterprise development. Uh, uh, again, <laughs> it's a it's a recycling of rural enterprise development. Perhaps back to basics, down to food production from chicken mm. raising to hog raising, for us <laughs> to sustain a long-term uh, economic development. Uh, especially now that. Uh, uh, we are deeply in debt. No? Ah. Uh, recently, we have country debt of, of almost a billion dollars just to acquire vaccines. Okay, so ah. if people. Are well, I would like to add, Aldrich. Mm -hmm. I like to add that since the retailers have embraced the new kind of commerce or the, the new commerce, which is the e-commerce or the internet retailing, mm -hmm. uh, franchise stores are also embracing the new kind of. Uh, system, uh, something like this. For example, if you know, because the, the model of franchise is one to many. So the, the one that you ought to be a model is the, the primary success uh, uh, branch. So now since it's so hard not to build another branch on a brick and mortar thing, mean to say you've got to put up your store. They're, they're now doing the franchise mode on a tweak mode. Uh, Tweak model or tweak basis now, meaning to say, uh, that's the service pack mode. For example, uh, ABC Chicken House. Okay. Well, now, uh, the, their initial branch is very successful, and there are many franchises that would like now to open. Instead of putting up a brick and mortar, then they will put up a service pack mode. Meaning to say, okay, you, you're now able to franchise, and then you will not take care of the delivery of the, the thing. So uh, it can be a smaller portion can be placed in your house with no uh, branded store that is to be made or to be erected. Uh -huh. So that is one kind of a trick mode of franchise. Okay. Uh, so because that is in response to the pandemic, uh, you, you should not um, invest so many millions of pesos erecting a brick and mortar branch because of the call of the pandemic to be, uh, everybody should stay at home. But uh, as anybody who stays at home can still order food. So that is the tweak part of the franchising. Uh, we are now partnering with the Direct Selling Association of the Philippines because the DSA is also in a transformation mode. Remember the time that we like to engage a person or invite him to a direct selling opportunity or business opportunity meeting is, has to be face to face. Now, each and every member of the direct selling association ought now to be creative in doing their invitation to a new uh, possible partner uh, or a, 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 there's so many terms that can be said of that, you know. Uh, okay. So uh, we would like to feature each and every company of the direct selling association or the discovery mode on how they tweak their business during this pandemic. That's why they're a program partner of the Talk Shop Asia Discoveries. I would like to greet uh, the chairman, uh, Joey Sarmiento uh, of Max International for providing the opportunity for us to be partners again this year of 2021. Together with our additional services of marketing as a service, wherein we provide the, the solution to the requirements of the direct selling companies in terms of cataloging, product pictorial, and then video story playbook. 
uh, etc. So we'll be able to service the members of the Direct Selling Association on a holistic mode to include social media and digital marketing as a uh, the, the Toward the Road is a partnership program wherein we mix and match different guests and their companies and different <coughs> associations so that they can now partner together on a collaborative basic mode to a more advanced mode of investing in companies. So uh, the, the program would like to forge collaborations and partnerships between and among guests of the program from season one and now we're now on season three. But for season three, we are converting the program to be of Adam advocacy. Of course, no, I, my other hand and my other pl plans are I'm now the head of marketing of a esports super app called Calaro. So we are partnering with the different brands and uh, different investors. And of course, we are engaging the different fans of esports as a game and as a community. So today we have uh, met, met with CCF because they also would like to use esports as a tool in bringing the youth closer to God. So esports is not bad, that's what they are mentioning. It's not addictive because it has already been addressed. And that's why one example is that a big organization like CCF, which is global, is also uh, uh, acknowledging the fact that esports can be a tool so that we can be closer to one another and closer to God and live a work life balance in from now and until the future. You know, because of the pandemic, everybody has to be online. And if you're online, your product ought to be digitized. Uh, so anything that is present in the brick and mortar has to be converted to be a digitized version. And then if ever you have a process, your process has to be digitalized. Meaning to say each and every component should always be seamless in your discovery online. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, that, that's basically uh, it. Uh, so you, you see that the, the difference of a digitized, which is the product, and a digitalized, which is the process, and the output is now uh, being made uh, on a platform uh, that can be called a channel or a station or a page. Yes. Oh. But there's one thing I noticed uh, that makes us still a third world country if we rely on that type of platform. Uh, if we do notice in Singapore, Hong Kong, and other Asian countries, or even uh, uh, Europe and USA, it's not just a matter of digitizing. The end product should be cellularized. Okay. <laughs> yeah, mobilize. So. <laughs> it can be accessed to your cell phone. Correct. Uh, oh, correct. That's, that, that's another challenge. The so. The most okay. convenient digitizing. Uh, direct uh, B2B cell phone to cell phone. Uh, rather than uh, brick and mortar, laptop, uh, PC, oh. uh, or... Uh, almost Jurassic technology. So although they, <laughs> they serve as a good medium, it has to be in retail packets through cell phone. <laughs> okay. So Oh okay, yeah, I agree with you. Oh. It's not different from like Food Panda. You like to order directly from your cell phone. Uh instant gratification. Okay. You, yeah. you don't have to go to the library. <laughs> okay. Uh, because in terms of equipment, the online platform has to be adapted to the mobile thing as an equipment. Yeah. So because of the difference in size, spectrum, and specs, then uh, whatever the tool you are using, whatever the product you are having, should now be adapted to the mobile as an equipment. So uh, it can be the presence and the marketing of it. I think, uh, again, we need to look back from our vintage education system. Yeah, we, we go back to education because it produces a new Aldrich. It produces a new Raleigh. 
It produces a new gamer. <laughs> there is that element of transformation. But uh, yeah. the objectives must be clear at the onset. Uh, it's, like, uh, it's like curriculum development. Like our PE, our physical education, which that's where we really start uh, learning about gaming. Uh, from the two types, no? individual sports and team sports. Okay, so yeah. the key points lang are team sports are supposed to teach us teamwork. Okay, we play basketball five in a team, so we know how to uh, ah. work as a team. Individual sports, you're uh, let's say uh, you're a discus player, so it's only between you and your discus. No? <laughs> you discus mm-hmm. between the two. Years. <laughs> okay. Well, what is uh, what is missing in a in, in a in a competition that is uh, captured online is the live energy, but still uh, the 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 hotness or the the spirit lies in you to win. But but you know uh, the the live thing gives you further excitement, further energy, and that's what's missing on having a digital version. Ah yes. yes. Actually, the motivation. Uh, the motivation may be still the same because you've got to win. But, but you know, in the course of winning, the, the face-to-face thing gives another kind of excitement. Uh-huh. Because of the differences in personality, differences in terms of skills, and you can, you are witnessing that. But in online, because of the limitless, uh, li- limited brain, uh, li- limited uh, specs of devices or di- different varied kind of specs of devices. It, can, it cannot be so controllable. Okay, so we're teaming up with True Digital uh, with our new show Talks of Pizza Discoveries and uh, they, they will do our production together with Big Media. So that's one platform, a new platform for us. And next, Uh, next picture. Of course, we are teaming out with Kumu, which is uh, about to be a unicorn. And uh, with the 8 million subscribers, we are opening shows in Kumu. Talk Shows Asia. I mean to say, we'll open with Talk Biz Asia, Talk Franchise Asia. Anything that is in the middle is the vertical industry that we would like to. Oh, I see. Yeah, thank you for that. So that's a uh, true digital, true ID, and Kumu. Insight alone, you can mine that data from a feng shui viewpoint, or mm. short of saying, exploit that opportunity this year. No, so all your journey uh, milestones and your programs can come into fruition with the right energy and effort and focus all right okay go for it and uh uh as much as possible uh the more you partner with roosters the better all right very good if you thank you don't have a rooster partner take care of a rooster as a mascot <laughs> well, what are, what are the years of a rooster uh these are uh uh well, President Duterte is rooster, no? 1945. Oh. Okay, so you just add 12 years. How um, old is he? Well, I think 76 or something, or 75, no? So... Okay. Uh, well, I can search that, I can search that. Uh, so every 12 rooster. years... Rooster. 1945 plus 12, 1957 plus 12, uh, 69, uh, these are roosters. But in the absence of a, a human rooster partner, you can use a mascot. Uh, yeah. Even if you just take care of a, a small Japanese bantam rooster, <laughs> at least it will not be disturbing your neighborhood as it comes uh, in the morning. No? <laughs> yeah. That's a yeah. good uh, mascot. Okay. okay. I'll follow through your advice. Mm. Uh, and of course, your lucky color being wood is green. So green. go green all the way, 50 shades of green. Uh, but this year, the luckiest color is white. So you're wearing the right outfit now, green and white. No? 
All right, white and green. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, something you can use in your uh, business formats in terms of corporate identity programs. Uh, your logos yeah. could be green. Uh, any tone no? that uh, makes you happy. Okay. I hope uh, uh, our listeners tonight, our fellow learners, uh, in your journey, uh, will be fellow travelers too in uh, ah. the near future. No? So, with that, I'd like to thank you for uh, sparing your time tonight and happy 6th anniversary to you and all your partners and hopefully uh, uh, we can explore more areas of uh, uh, working hand in hand for a better future. Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Big Media.